Hello and welcome to another Big Orbit Games unboxing video. I'm Chris and today we are looking at the Corset 19 bundle. So 10 booster packs in there uh, in a nice box as always. Uh, let's just start opening. Oop, that just completely fell out straight away. Cool. Um, so as always, yeah, nice little booklet with the player's guide. So a um, little bit of info about the set, um, other products that are out, got the whole Elder Dragon cycle, Nickel Bowler, so a storyline, uh, a bit about the different colours, and then onto the uh, the card set. So every single card is in there. Nice little way of showing what everything is and uh, I mean you can always use it as like a little tick off chart if you're collecting. Um, other than that it's kind of nice just to have it all there for some research to be honest. Um, Save so you looking at the websites all the time. And, uh, so let's get all that out of the way and let's start opening the box. So fat pack boxes are, sorry, bundle boxes are always useful because um, you've got the card storage as well. Uh, so spin down dice is always good, especially if you're a newer player. If you're an older player, you've probably got hundreds of those things kicking about. Um, so again, for newer players, you've also got the quick reference guide, which I find very useful when actually teaching new players because it gives you the breakdown of a turn. So rather than explaining all the time, you just kind of have this sound on the table um, and everybody knows what's going on. So that's all good. Then we have our land pack. So let's just get that open. It is pretty much what it says on the tin, just a pack of land. So just all the different basics, but always useful to have all those basics, especially if you're deck building. And then on to the main part which is the 10 booster packs. I also get this little box there uh, to kind of separate your deck or whatever from whatever else. So let's just get cracking with the boosters to see what we get. Ah, you can tell these were printed in the US. Uh, so Uncomfortable Chill, we've got Catalyst Elemental, Rustling Falcon, Dagobank Basilisk, Duress, Smelt, Lich's Caress, Gallant Cavalry, Skyscanner, then we've got Recollect, Dragon Egg, Colossal Majesty, and Patient Rebuilding is the rare. So five mana enchantment at the beginning of your upkeep. Target opponent puts the top three cards of their library into their graveyard. Then you draw a card for each land card put into that graveyard this way. So a cool little mill card that gives you a bit of upside and just constantly milling. And we've also got a foil woodland stream. That's quite cool. Put that there and then just worry about it later. Swamp and a zombie as well. I'm going to shimmy these across because I'm going to just in case I get a mythic. <laughs> so I've got Goblin Instigator, Dwarven Priest, Dwindle, Mind Rot, Bristling Boar, Field Creeper, Aviation Pioneer, Fiashino Pyromancer, and Rabbit Bite, and then Sovereign Bite. Lots of biting in this pack. Then we've got a Johnny's Welcome, Recollect, Psychic Symbiont, and Banefire is our rare, which is uh, pretty good. One red and X, it deals X damage to any target, and if X is five or more, this spell can't be countered and the damage can't be prevented, which is, yeah, pretty good. I'm sure we'll, uh, that, that can just go in the land pile. Uh, the cool thing about this set is that you do get the dual lands in the land. Um, slot of the uh, the pack so it just makes drafting a little bit easier it's like one in three or sort of like it's about 33 percent chance that you'll slightly higher that you'll get a dual land um so you can pick those up during the draft and it just fixes your mana which is good uh so locks on line breaker disperse trumpet blast child of the night manolith take vengeance ghost form electrify walking corpse then we've got Thud, which is Sorcery Speed Fling, for one. <laughs> uh, Gutsnipe and Vampire Sovereign. Then we have Graveyard Marshal, 
the card that may make zombies great again. Who knows? Um, but two black for a 3-2 zombie soldier. And you can pay three exile creature card from your graveyard, create a tapped 2-2 two -two black zombie creature token. So quite nice recursion. Um, like this card a lot. Ooh, foils are plenty. Uh, so Volcanic Dragon in foil. Looks alright. Like the foiling seems a bit strange on this, but oh well. Um, and then land and thopter. And uh, you can really tell the card quality difference between the ones printed in Europe and the ones printed in America. The fat packs are printed in America, and the uh, yeah, it just feels a bit strange compared to the uh, the booster box ones. So Thrilled Sea Serpent, Lavrax, Night of the Tusk, Titanic Growth, Infectious Horror, Luminous Bonds, Marauder's Axe, Essence Scatter, Naturalize, and then we've got Uncommons, Fire Finish, Plague Mare, and Meteor Golem. We've got Sigiled Sword of Valoron, uh, which is kind of a cool card actually. So uh, three mana uh, equipment, pay three to equip it. Quick creature gets plus two plus oh, has a vigilance and is a knight in addition to its other types. When a crypt creature attacks, create a two two white knight creature token with vigilance that's attacking. So just keep generating those knights. It's a cool card. And another foil, wow, Knight of the Tusk. That looks very cool. And we're just getting all the dual lands. What's going on? Um, we've had one pack so far that hasn't had a dual land in it. So. Got Mighty Leap, Cancel, Short Strike, Revitalize, Giant Spider, Doom to Center, Cavalry Drill Master, Shock, and Naturalize, and Luminous Bonds. Then we've got Double Cast, Skilled Animator, Regal Blood Lord, and Phylactery Lich. So three black for a 5 5 zombie uh, who is indestructible. When he enters, put a Phylactery counter on target artifact you control. When you control no permanents with a Phylactery counter on it, sacrifice the Phylactery Lich. So, yeah, 5-5-3 five, five is good, and he's indestructible, and, yeah, I mean, put the counter on Dark Steel Linger, I mean, which is also indestructible, and then, is the payoff good enough? Maybe, who knows. <laughs> and, yeah, another dual land. Maybe I lied when I said the uh, 33% count. Maybe bundles are just a lot better for dual lands, who knows. Scholar of Stars, Tormenting Voice, Oresco Swift Claw, Divination, Child of Night, Greenwood Sentinel, Cavalry Draw Master, Spark Tongue Dragon, Wall of Vines, and Sky Mike Bloodletter. We've got Aether Tunnel, Rise from the Grave, Draconic Disciple, and a Spit Flame, three mana instant, uh, deals four damage to target creature. When a dragon enters the battlefield and your control, you may pay red. If you do, return Spit Flame from your graveyard to your hand. Uh, I did lose a game a pre-release to this because the guy was just playing lots of dragons and kept getting spit flame back and yeah I, I was just I had no creatures left I was very sad not sure how good it's going to be in constructed but I mean you, you just play it in like a dragon commander deck definitely um, maybe dragons in standard will work a little bit expensive but who knows and yet another dual land but so far we're on like 80% short lands. <laughs> so Shore Strike, Mighty Leap, Omen Speaker, Goblin Instigator, Macabre Waltz, Elvish Rejuvenator, Vampire Neonate, Avon Wind Mage, and Explosive Apparatus. And then Illuminous Bonds. We've got Gift of Paradise, Plague Mare, Horizon Scholar, and Valiant Knight. So four mana, three, four. Other knights you control get plus one, plus one. And Pay five, knights you control gain double strike until end of turn. Again, uh, knights could be pretty good. There seems to be a lot of synergy in the set and stuff from Dominaria and uh, a few of the uh, Ixlan cards as well work well with knights. So, yeah, I mean, maybe white weenies could be a thing. You've got the Ajani emblem. See if we can get an Ajani to go with it. Got Trumpet Blast, Revitalize, Oaken Form, Epicure of Blood, Skeleton Archer, Wall of Mist, Tape Vengeance, Root Snare, Electrify, Walking Corpse, Reclamation 
Sage is an uncommon. I think that probably means we have a foil because I had a feeling that we hadn't gone quite far enough in the um, commons. But anyway, Reclamation Sage, Dry Green Seeker, and Switcheroo. Then we've got Omniscience, which is a mythic. So 10 mana, 3 of it blue. Uh, an enchantment, you may cast spells from your hand without paying their mana cost. Um, this is disgusting in Commander. You play this out, hope it doesn't uh, get taken care of by, you know, one of the many things that can take care of this in Commander. Um, and then just draw through your deck and keep playing stuff for free. It's pretty good. No, we, we didn't get a, I just miscounted as we are going through the pack then. And the uh, Tezzeret Emblem as well. So we have a mythic out of this. It's, it's not all bad. And Omniscience isn't the worst. So, Talarian Scholar, Anake Ogre, Elvish Rejuvenator, Infernal Scarring, Root Snare, Electrify, Walking Corpse, Snapping Drake, Gearsmith, Guardian, Druid of the Cow, and then Leonin Vanguard, Poison Tip Archer, Declare Dominance, and Sweet. Another mythic. This pack was awesome. Uh, Nicol Bolas, the Ravager. So, yeah. One and Grixis for um, Legendary Elder Dragon, who's a 4-4 with flying, and when he enters the battlefield, each opponent discards a card. That effect is also very annoying. Um, you can pay f 7, exile Nicol Bolas the Ravager, then return him to the battlefield, transformed under its owner's control, activate this ability only any time you can cast a sorcery, and he flips into Nicol Bolas the Arisen. So, 7 loyalty Bolas Planeswalker, his plus 2 is draw 2 cards, uh, which is amazing. His minus three is he deals 10 damage to target creature or planeswalker. That's amazing. Minus four, put target creature or planeswalker card from a graveyard onto the battlefield in your control. That can also be amazing. Uh, more situational than the other two, but very, very good. And 12, exile all but the bottom card of target player's library. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. Um, he's... I mean, the, the fact that he comes in as a 4-4 four, four for 4 is, is already amazing. And then it just you can flip him for like slightly later in the game, and he just becomes even more amazing. So, yeah, you can tell why this card is so expensive at the moment. Um, excellent card. We've also got the, uh, the placeholder card for the pack, which for some reason replaces the land in the pack, which just makes drafting so much harder. I don't know why this wasn't where this token is instead. Uh, but Oh well, thanks Wizards. I'm very happy that I just got that card though. And then the last pack. Uh, it's probably going to be very anticlimactic, but whatever. Uh, Goblin Motivator, Daybreak Chaplain, Doom Dissenter, Rocks Oracle, Salvager of Secrets, Root Snare, Abnormal Endurance, Boggart Brute, Invoke the Divine, Pegasus Corsa. Then we got Fountain of Renewal, Enigma Drake, Vampire Sovereign, and Demon of Catastrophes. Uh, so four mana, six, six, as an additional cost, Sahu Creature. And he has Flying and Trample. Um, if you come up against this in draft, you're just like, oh, God. <laughs> uh, it happened to me. Uh, especially if your opponent is playing, like, Red Black, um, Sacrifice Creature, uh, synergy deck, which this fits in very well with. So, uh, yeah, fairly good card. Not sure how much standard play it's going to see, but um, definitely good and limited. And then we've got Land and Adopter. So, yeah, overall, that was a really, really good bundle. Um, more than paid for itself with uh, Nickel Bolas. So, yeah, two Mythics. I think last time I did an unboxing, I got zero mythics, so this this is nice to, to get to. Makes up for the last one. And then some, some decent rares as well, uh, like the Banefire, the Graveyard Marshal, the Sword, the Knight. Spitflame's pretty good as well, and the Demon. So, uh, yeah, all good cards. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's not a whole lot more you can really say about it. Um, and it all fits nicely in the box as well, remember. So remember, you can buy and sell any of the cards you've seen in the video on our website, bigorbitcards.co.uk. Um, stay tuned for more Corset19 videos. Um, we'll be doing uh, 
possibly like, probably the Devil's Toolkit as well and the booster boxes. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for those. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again next time. Bye bye.